Hey Pisces, how are you doing? This reading is for Pisces for the week of August the 12th to the 18th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Pisces, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Just click the link. It will take you to the website and you can look at the options there. What is going on? For the fabulous and most magical Pisceans, what do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What's coming towards you? The Moon, Major Arcana 4, Pisces. I'll read that as Cancer. What you are focused on? Beautiful. The High Priestess. Major Arcana 4, Pisces. Very powerful energy coming through. It is like your intuition is strongly pulling you into some kind of new career path or new passion, new desire, or some kind of mystery or secrecy. This could also be keeping your cards close to your chest or you're highly intuitive. It's like your intuition is trying to pull you to some kind of opportunity or you just have that gut feeling inside of you, which is called prescience, knowing something before it happens. This could also be deep hidden feelings, or there is some kind of like secret admirer, secret contract. In your blocked and challenged position is the Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and your outcome, beautiful, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, Pisces, Let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is inquiring, being inquisitive, asking a lot of questions. This could also be some kind of paperwork that you need to handle and get out of the way. Need to tackle it. You might have been putting it off or even avoiding it because, you know, the High Priestess just sits. So be more observant. You could also be... Um, spying, keeping tabs, watching someone. This could also be somebody who is spying, keeping tabs and watching you. Maybe that's why you're being quiet about private about your business here. This could also be somebody who is very triggered, nundies are in a knot, very reactive. They say things without thinking. So, you know, this is their shortcomings. So don't lower your vibration to meet this person's needs. This could also be if there is something that you are applying for, so putting out your resume, putting out your feelers, taking some kind of new job career, because in your blocked and challenged position is some kind of withdraw, emotionally withdrawing from some kind of situation that you're bored with or discontent, dissatisfied, the milk has expired, and watch the complainers. So that is a very triggering energy where people are coming to you, complaining to you, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? It kind of feels like a need for you to put your phone on autopilot or silence. And they could be comparing you to them. So it's actually triggering them, their jealousy issues. Let's see what this Ace of Wands is. Ace of Wands is like a spark of enthusiasm, feeling lit up about some kind of opportunity, but you might have to keep it quiet. It might be some kind of new contract. You could also be dealing with like a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, an attorney, somebody who is or has the cases of the smarty pants, as I like to call it, or you're just making some kind of logic decision, wanting the truth, or there is truth being revealed. So anything hidden in the dark from you is coming to light. Yeah, beautiful energy. Making some kind of plan. Moving away from any kind of situation, person, job situation that has been over expired. Like the milk is curdled. Nobody wants to drink curdled milk. And for you to not get distracted on comparing yourself to other people's journey or what other people are doing or if your phone is binging and bonging, you don't have to answer it. But what you have to answer is this. So letting go of one situation that's behind you and you having the key inside of you to be very extremely successful in this lifetime. 
This is like a boost of confidence, a strong, confident backbone to go forth with plans. And even though you don't know where you're going, because the moon card is like um, getting out of a comfort zone and going on some kind of journey, it feels like more of everything you want, dream of, and desire is in this blank space. And you're like, well, there's nothing there. I know it's because your intuition is strongly pulling you to take action, make a plan. So what is this um, moon card? Moon card can also be deceptive behavior, mental health, ill health, depression, worry, anxiety, worry that something isn't going to pan out or somebody um, could be around you that is causing this angst within you. So again, somebody very triggered of what you're doing, like don't do this, Pisces, don't do that. I feel like you already have a plan here and you're going to go forth with it. And the strength card. Wow, beautiful energy. The power and strength within you, inner strength, peace. But I feel with that strength card, it's going to take all your courage, bravery, strength to go or to get out of a comfort zone. And everything that you desire, like I said, is in an unknown territory, an unknown place, an unknown project. And healing any kind of anxiety, fear, ill health, mental health, like I said, this could be like advice from a doctor or a second opinion, which is actually bringing in a lot of healing around whatever this shadow is or this moon, deep hidden feelings. You could also have a strong person around you or it's a need for you to just be bold, be brave, take action, let your uniqueness shine. Four swords, healing, rest, recovery. You might need to take a couple days to yourself. Meditation could also bring about answers. Let's see what this high priestess is. And the queen of wands. Wow, sassy. I like it. Spicy. Maintain your independence. But Queen of Wands is a go-getter, an action taker. The sunflowers speak of vitality, joy, which equals success. So not only do you have this sacred knowledge and wisdom, but your intuition is like strongly or passionately pulling you in a direction. And that could be job and career. Some of you, you need to let it shine. But you feel like there's energies around you that are quite triggered or bothered by that. But it's for you not to get distracted. Don't get distracted right now. Yeah. See how it's like put your phone on silence. Or peace and quiet. You could also be working on some kind of development. Quiet. And observing. Observing. Being quiet. Watching. But you know that Queen of Wands is your solar plexus. So that's expression of self, your sensuality, your sexuality, or, you know, um, you got a really big fire in the belly. And this is somebody who motivates and inspires other or here you motivate and inspire others. There could also be somebody around you, very attractive type, type of an individual, very strong individual who motivates and inspires you. In your blocked and challenged position is this Four of Cups. A needing to emotionally detach from anything that has disappointed you or actually bored. You're no longer waiting around for a cup. So if you have had some kind of empty promises or um, there's a little bit of feeling like rejected if you do something... This is that internal conflict. But like I said, it's all your power and strength to just see yourself as this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is like an individual who walks into the room and people get whiplash over them. They they are like a moth to a flame. And you could feel that right now. And anything you give that positive attention to will thrive. 
and here it's like, I don't know if I can pull this off. Yeah, you can. It's just going to take your power, right? Let's see what this Four of Cups is. Yeah, beautiful energy. And the Eight of Cups is Piscean energy. So you're bored, discontent, or dissatisfied, or a need for you to stop comparing your life to other people's life. And any kind of milk has expired, or you've overstayed in a situation, or you've been waiting around for a certain type of offer, you're not like waiting around anymore. Three of Swords. Three of Swords is heartbreak, separation, sadness, a breakup. But this could also be a needing for you to heal this, to bounce back to who you are. And or someone, you know, might have been under the weather. Maybe you were under the weather. This is about you moving away from this. It's like moving away from a period of like being disappointed. But you still have to emotionally detach and purge this. So the Eight of Cups is about an emotional purge of letting go of a person, place, or a situation. And you haven't done that yet. You're still focused on that disappointment or that letdown. But it's holding you back from some kind of new course. And you're like, yeah, but I don't want to hurt people's feelings. But... If you lower your standard to meet someone else's needs or make them happy, is that making you happy? So here, there could also be stuff like baggage, unloading baggage. Um, that could be like cleaning out your closets, cleaning out your cupboards. Um, but here, it's like a withdrawn and withdrawn energy. It's asking you to choose something new. It's going to excite you, but also liberate you. And this could be like even a work project. This could be a person. And if somebody has walked away from you in the past and they poke their nosy little head up here, they're only poking their nosy little head up here because you're doing great. And so start as you, it's this as soon as you start re, like regaining your control and power. Or, you know, hitting the gym or building muscle or there's just something you're doing with finances. Yeah, they're going to come back. Let's see what this uh, King of Swords is. The facts, the truth. This could also be like conversation, a second opinion. Wow, injustice. We draw our con of four Libra. So we have the Aries Libra South Node North Node. What is going out of your life is the South Node. What you are going forward with is the North Node. Embody this Aries energy. This is where you're going. This is where you're heading. The South Node is Libra energy. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. This could also be some kind of home, living situation, inheritance, financial stability, new job, new career. But as you can see, there's loyalty here. There's making good money. There's giving, receiving, sharing, and caring. Making a commitment. This could have somebody something to do with another error sign. Possibly an Aquarius or a Libra. Like the WE project, how can we bring this together? Well, it's going to take strength. And you're like, yeah, but we don't know where we're going. Yep. But, you know, um, be brave. Be strong. And this is like maintaining your independence. Libra energy is about fairness, truth, equality, balancing of the scales. Or there's some kind of great contract here. This can also be you seeing the truth of a situation and cutting out a contract and like I said, taking a new avenue, but being quiet about it, not telling a lot of people your business. And with this, this could be like signing some kind of big contract. It brings in a lot of cha-ching or even um, moving towards retirement, selling a home, buying a home, but it's really beautiful energy.
And this is karma. Standing in a place of integrity. There's a win-win for you in the forecast. Caregiving. Caregiver. We are with you. And spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others. Especially at the end of their lives. Just as you receive care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often often focus all their attention on loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. So there could be like um, a situation that you haven't fully let go of, a person, or maybe you were a caregiver because this could be like if you were in the medical field or medicine, it could be an elder But you've neglected yourself along the way because you've been giving so much to others. It's time for you to do something nice for yourself. Whether that's a new hobby, a new creative project, um, a new relocation and move. Breathe. The breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source. The breath permeate, permeates your entire being with prana. I don't know what prana is, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. So just breathe. This could also be something about deep breathing or a course or class that you're taking. So something to do with like holistic medicine. Or there is something about um, breath work. Believe. The force that works through your soul determining what's possible or impossible, the difference between success or failure, and above all, who you are, is the power of your belief. That's that strength card. And see how it is about the heart center. So here, um, something that is meaningful to your heart. And if anybody broke your heart or hurt your feelings, or if you've had some kind of loss um, or there has been somebody's own health that has been declining that you you know are not quite over support people come into our life for many different reasons some you learn from and then they move on so again there's something about like something has disappointed you you haven't moved on from it's a time for you to really let this go while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals, others remain beside you throughout your entire life. That's such a beautiful energy because this could be like a marriage contract or like um, renewing your vows. Purse. Pay attention to your finances. Yeah. Pay attention to your finances is like how much is going out and how much are you saving? Are you living paycheck to paycheck? And why are you living paycheck to paycheck? So that's needing to be more financial. Um, like where can you cut, not cut corners, but where can you save up more? Look at that. Bag something important such as a new job or a raise. Yeah, somebody might be like um, feeling really inspired or likes your work. And then there's like competition or jealousy of other people around you. And that's why it's almost like you need to let it shine a little bit more. Fly. Period of ill health and depression right here. But you're going to overcome this because you have the strength card. So like returning to full power. There could also be somebody around you. Um... 
in your external environment that you are externally connected to that this is happening for them. My discord amongst friends or family. That could also be someone's ill health or mental health or depression around you. And it is causing a lot of upheaval and chaos and family dynamics. And then you have quail get back to the basics. Take this one and do what Pisces wants to do. And this is about alchemi alchemizing and simplifying and neutralizing things in your life. Anything complex must go. Bowl. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude right there. The courage within. Horse. Short journey. Yeah, taking a trip. You could even be going to take a trip um, to see a loved one. And that doesn't have to be romantic love. It could just be like a friend or a family member and bread period of prosperity and abundance. So at the beginning, it's like pay attention to your finances. Um, you know, you could easily make yourself sick here. So it's needing for you to make sure that you're checking in with your body. So if you're feeling really tired, listen to your body, take rest, take sleep. Um, cause you know, uh, ill health or mental health or depression that's living in the past. And here it's like something disappointed you and you still haven't emotionally purged this. So it's like you're gripping onto a past situation. The past is irrelevant or it's, um, change is inevitable here. So living in the past is depression. Living in the future is anxiety, but the present moment is where the magic lies. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort, gavel, gavel, involvement with the law, and bouquet compliments from an admirer. So like I said, you could have somebody who is secretly keeping tabs on you or, you know, um, somebody likes your work here, but there could be like an energy of inheritance here or somebody um, who has passed on. Maybe you're getting some kind of home. You don't know it yet. See here, it hasn't been disclosed. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Pisces, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link and it will take you to the website and you can look at the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.